What's going on, gentlemen, ladies, girls, boys, cats, ferrets, dogs, turtles? Who am I ever getting? Jeff? Did I say ferrets? Whatever. <laughs> How's everyone doing? We got a little update, and we got a couple of kits into the shop from a friend. I uh, thought we'd share that. We got some progress on the Lincoln. Thought we'd share that. Um, starting to warm up around here. Thank God, after yesterday, it was like 30 degrees all, but with the wind, it felt like it was 15 degrees cooler. Right. Starting to warm up now, so we'll take that, right? Shut this light off so it's not in my eyes or your eyes. There we go. Yeah, so... Let's start with the kits we got into the shop. Uh, I got an email about a week ago from uh, from a friend. <clears throat> and he goes, I've seen your video. I know you don't want anybody sending you model kits and all that. He's going, but I got a couple that I'm never going to build, and I'd really like to, to give them to you. And I said, what are they? And he's going, well, there's a couple airplanes. And I said, okay. I go, you send them, I'll build them. So they came today. This is my friend Tom. Tom always comments on my videos. He may comment on some of you guys. I know he's subbed to Chris Classic Plastic and uh, a couple of the other guys that that I'm subbed to that he so he may uh, comment when it comes on there. I think it's his daughter's YouTube channel or something like that because it's under Amy. <clears throat> and I remember, I think the first time he commented, I commented back to him, and I said something like, "You know, it's not awesome to have a girl." And he's like, "No, I'm not a girl." And I'm like, "Oops, sorry." <laughs> so, but yeah, Tom Shry, uh from Wisconsin, um, sent me two airplane kits to be added. He said to add them to the air museum. So, first one he said, it's a nice hella kit, probably one of my first uh, passenger planes, but I like it because it's an old passenger plane. So we got this, very cool, still all wrapped, they were both still wrapped in the original wrappers, uh, but yeah, that, that's, I can't wait to build this baby. Very cool. Thank you, sir. And then this one here, this is a nice kit. Um, this has a lot of, uh, it's got a, uh, came with a resin engine. Um, it's got the schematic for the wiring, uh, or the rigging, I'm sorry, the rigging. But yeah, really cool kit. This is like a, uh, it's the Goblin Mark One. This is like probably one of the first um, fighters after World War One. This is like mid thirties, nineteen thirties. But uh, yeah, really cool. American. Full. Very cool though. Tom. The letter that you sent me. With those was uh, was was way aw more awesome than than the kits, my friend. Um, yeah, I, uh, you really touched the chord. Um, so, without without any more being said, we're gonna do a shot of beer for you. To you and your son, my friend. Thank you very much. We're going to build one of those planes in your name, and we'll build the other one in your son's name, and we'll hang them out in the museum. Um, can't thank you enough, my friend. Very, very much. Thank you. Um, no, I don't think Tom has a channel yet. He might. I 
can't remember if he finally got one or not. I'm going to have to go and check if I, if he's got one. I know I'm pretty sure I subbed him. But uh, just check. I'm not positive. That's that's on me. But thank you, sir. They will, like I said, at some point they'll be give, they'll be getting built. All right, now Lincoln, the 1928 Lincoln Dietrich. Well, I got a frame. I got a frame and a uh, an engine and an exhaust all built. I got a frame and engine and exhaust all built. This is what we got here, guys. Maybe we can put a little white on the subject. All this white, none of it works. So yeah, this is our uh, this is our uh, engine with our frame that is painted uh, gloss navy blue. Um, did a little bit of weathering on our exhaust. We had a problem with the exhaust. We had to cut a lot of that exhaust off because it did not fit correctly. Uh, the other problem I had, this cross piece right here, that's got the brass jackets on it. That was off by fitting a cross there by about, I want to say, what did I have to add? I had to add four millimeters. I took a piece of uh, styrene tubing and stuck it in me. I, I cut the ends off. These, yeah, where am I? I cut these ends off on either side and I cut the middle out. And then I had to add two millimeters to either side. So now once I did that, it kind of looked a little crappy. And I'm like, well, how the hell am I going to fix that without adding putty and everything else? So what I did was I took some uh, photo etched brass and I uh, I formed it around a I think I used a paintbrush end and we made some brass jackets to put over that and I think that that uh, looks pretty effing cool. So I don't know how good the light is, guys. But yeah, that's all in and ready to go. We put a. Uh, Asbestos wrap on the exhaust out of uh, used surgical tape. Same thing with that belt. That belt's made out of surgical tape. We uh, just took a yellow marker and made it yellow. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how she's looking, boys. The rest of it's out in the paint shed. Uh, I got the top. I got the big top made. Just put the glass in. And then this is going to get painted semi-gloss black. I got the fenders all done. Those are all in semi-gloss black with a clear coat. And they come out very nice. I'm quite pleased so far with how this paint is coming out on this. And we got a working front end. So we'll have steering. I fixed. It's a footrest for the back seat. That didn't fit. That was off. It wasn't long enough. That was off by a couple millimeters. So I said, screw it. And I made one out of brass. So, yep. Yep. We're moving along. We're moving along. But that's where we are. Um, I got to get my ass moving and do something on the Constitution. I've been slacking off, to be honest with you, with modeling and YouTube and everything else. Just uh, been stuff going on and my back and a few other things. But it is what it is. So, again, Tom, thank you, sir. Um, yeah, like I said, they will get built. One, one for you, one for your son. He'll hang out in the museum. But, uh, yeah, can't thank you enough. So... You got to take care of yourself. Uh, and uh, at some point, you'll be hearing from me again. When I get more progress, I got, the, like I said, I got, uh, we got to lay down the yellow now. I got the blue almost all done on, the, on what I needed blue. And then I had to, uh, I got to take the tape off that and tape up the blue. And so, yeah, we're painting the other half. 
What is it? Gloss on yellow. That ought to be born. All right, fellas. You guys, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Leave some comments. I'm always on the comments. I try to answer everybody when I can. So, we'll, uh, we'll talk soon. Take care of yourselves, please. Doug Hensley. Drink some cherry juice. Get rid of that gout. There's nothing worse than gout. If, you have never, if you've never had it, you have no idea the excruciating pain it causes. I wouldn't wish that on Jeff. Well, maybe Jeff. All right, guys. Here's to you, boys. Tom. Thanks, brother. Peace out.